This is Ritesh Srinivasan and welcome to my channel. In this video, let's have a high level look at Instruct Pix to Pix. What if, if you could edit an image with just natural language instructions? For example, here you have an image of the Eiffel Tower and you give this as an instruction, add fireworks to the sky and then this image gets generated. Okay. For example, uh, so here is an image from Toy Story, okay, and you have this turn it into a still from a western. This is the image which has been generated, okay. So instruct pix to pix is a conditional diffusion model, okay, which is trained on some generated data and it generalizes to real images uh, and user written instructions. That is the idea. So what they have done over here is that Okay, so in their paper, they've explained it. First, they generate text edits using GPT-3 LLM. So the idea is that if you have an input caption like photograph of a girl riding a horse, and then this GPT-3 uh, is fine-tuned on this particular uh, set of captions, input captions to generate an instruction, which is like have a ride a dragon and an edited caption, photograph of a girl riding a dragon. So this is the output from the GPT-3. Okay. So what they use is a fine-tuned GPT-3 to generate instructions and edited captions. So this is in the text domain. Okay. So if you have a set of input captions, for that they generate an instruction and an edited caption. Okay. Now using the input caption and edited caption which has been generated in this step, they use table diffusion and prompt to prompt. Okay to generate pairs of images. Okay. This way they now have a huge data set of pairs of images along with the instruction. Okay. The instruction which has been generated over here. So they created a data set of 450 K training images, right? Using this procedure. Okay. Now on that trained images, they actually, uh, what you call trainer, instruct pix to pix diffusion model okay on this generated data to edit images from instructions that is the idea okay so here is an uh, uh, this thing uh, inference on real images so turn her into a snake lady so this is the original input image and this is the instruction and this is the output over here so that is the idea behind instruct pix to pix so the first they work in the text domain, they use fine tuned GPT-3 to generate instructions and edited captions. They use then stable diffusion in combination with prompt to prompt. I have covered this previously, you know, a way of generating images given an input image and a prompt, it generates another image. Okay. So they use a combination of uh, what you call stable diffusion and prompt to prompt to generate pairs of images for the instructions which have been uh, for the input caption and edited caption which has been generated in the first step so along with this pair of images along with this instruction is used to train and instruct pix to pix diffusion model okay so that is the high level idea over here so the details are present in this paper i'll be putting the link of this paper okay uh, interesting thing is that first they used actually you know the human written edits from the Lion LAION dataset, okay, where you have an input and an edit instruction, okay. Uh, based on that, they fine tuned GPT-3 to create more than 450k edits, okay. On this particular human written edits uh, dataset, they actually fine tuned GPT-3 and they got this huge uh, generated GPT-3 generated edits, okay. In that way, they got instructions. Again, using the original uh, image uh, caption and the edited caption, uh, what they did was they developed, uh, they created this pair of images. Okay, then with the pair of images and this instruction, okay, which has been present over here, the edit instruction, they fine tune another diffusion model called instruct pix to pix. Okay, now you can also try out instruct pix to pix. They have a GitHub page where they say that you can actually try it out on. Uh, basically uh, your pair of images or this thing they also say how to train this particular model okay they also have a hugging face space where you can actually try out these uh, models they also have an app over here which you can set up 
So I would want to try out this hugging face space. Okay. So for example, I would want to try out some images. Let's see. Okay. I want to, I'll choose this particular image. Okay. And I'll give an instruction that uh, convert the image into an oil pastel painting. Okay. I think some typos over here. Let's generate. Let's see how much time it takes. Okay, this is going to take some amount of time. Given this input image and this particular edit instruction, convert the image into an oil pastel painting. This is the image which has been generated, which is quite nice. Okay, so this uh, you can try out this particular hugging face space. This is from the author himself, Tim Brooks, who's the author, who's one of the authors of this particular instruct pix to pix So you can actually try out this particular uh, hugging face space with your own images to try out, you know, what kind of images are getting generated based on the edit instruction. So if you look at some of the examples over here, they are quite impressive. See uh, here some kind of contextual effects, uh, for example, addition of boats. For example, this is the input and say that add boats to the water. This is how uh, it is generated and add, uh, it also adds ripples in the water, right? And you can you also have replaced the mountains with the city skyline. So this is the image which has been generated. Okay. Right. Similarly, other examples are given over here um, for different kind of edits given a particular input image. Right. So, uh, so see here, this is an input. Uh, so this particular uh, image is being converted into different uh, artistic styles basically over here okay or artistic mediums okay so this is original mona lisa painting from leonardo da vinci and this has been changed into say make it into a marble roman sculpture okay you get this particular image so it is quite impressive you can also go and try out this particular instruct pix to pix hugging face space as well uh, you can also try to set up the code if you are interested to check out how it works the uh, i'll also put the link to this github page as well I hope this short video on instruct pix to pix is useful for you. If you like the video, please like, share, subscribe to the channel. See you in another video.